opportunity has given us to be back in this house. What a blessing it is that we were here for the mid um, Sunday morning service. And a blessing it is to be back on Wednesday. We thank the Lord for giving us a wonderful time. Though we didn't have the evening service on Sunday, but we thank the Lord that there was no trouble in the town. And that everything went smoothly to the glory of His name. Let's start praying that the Lord will bless. This country through the newly elected government. Before there is someone that leads the country, we can argue, we can disagree, we can say, no, I don't want him there. But immediately God placed anybody there. It's the job of everyone to pray for the success of Ale, that government. Ale ma jinyan, kama shari yon jinyan, pe a afe, shubat, lo gati olor no bati, fi eni kansibe, ishe ek bobo wani, la ti gbadura, la ti gbadura, pray that the Lord will help the president elect, a gadura, pe olor no yoran, are, ti a nyan, lo wo, to do the right thing for this country. La ti shi on ti oto, fun rile de yi, pray that I will not be a religious by God, a gadura, pe, koni je, eni ti oka, that will be able to give freedom of speech and freedom of religion. And all these uh, senators, governors, that this time God will let this country be a better place. Let's turn our Bible this evening to... Matthew chapter 6. We read from verse 9 through 13. You are welcome tonight once again. And I can say, Mr. Ajayi, you are very much welcome back. Mr. Ajayi, God bless you. Matthew chapter 6, 13. 13, 9 through 13. If you have found your place, would you please rise up? As we read the word of God. The Bible says, After this manner, therefore, manner, therefore pray ye, our Father in heaven, allow be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen, amen. father lord we thank you tonight for the opportunity you've given us to be back in your house and how much we pray lord jesus that you speak to our hearts that you bless us with this truth of your word. Amen. Thank you for what you are going to Thank do. You, Lord. When it's time for us to pray and call upon your name, may you please hear and answer our prayers. Amen. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Let's be seated. That was about a week ago or two weeks ago. There was a Facebook post that was shared by... A, a, a Facebook friend. Um, I, that person that wrote it or that made the video was not my friend or is not my friend, but was a friend to my friend or either ways, I don't know. Any, but I just know that that friend, Facebook friend, shared that video. And the video was about prayer. A young lady came on board, made a video. I would have loved to bring the video, but to me, she was not appropriate, appropriately dressed. 
Piri ke kere kana si wala ti sipi abona na ha. Shuba in le in le muwa ni tori pe ko bora da da. But what she was saying in that video? Shuba ton sa ni no agora yi. Was this? She started with there is no Jesus that is coming to save anyone. Oh, Not bele. about salvation, oh. but that to rescue you, to help you, to answer. Forget about it. No Jesus is coming to answer any prayer. Oh, bele ni pa pe ko si Jesus katon pa ni bi aka la ti da wa dure ni kemi. She said she found out that. Uh, she she observes a lot. She studies a lot. She tries to get things out of what happens around her, and she has found out that many go to church to have their prayers answered. That when she was making her research, she found out that. Less rich people go to church. She find out that many rich people don't go, and why we have uh, more poor people go to church, or they go to church more. So it seems as if the rich people are uh, making their money by their own power. Why the poor are going to church in order to make money. So she concluded that prayer is not the key. But action is the key. That when you pray, is never the key. It's when you act that it is the key. So you, you, you don't come around and say, God will answer my prayer. And she's not saying it from the biblical point of view. You know, I strongly believe that when you pray, you take action. I've made a video about not just praying about everything, but you you take action. But she is saying categorically that there is no answer to prayer. That it's all by your action, all by your words, and that's why the rich are getting richer. Because it seems as if they put their best into what they do instead of praying. As much like I said, as I believe that you have to act, I still believe that the Bible says men ought to always pray, to always pray and not faint. That's Luke chapter 18 verse 1. God says we have to pray. So you know what the problem is with such a young lady? It's because She's probably not a believer. Listen, if you go to church in order to get something from God, when you don't get it, you say, God doesn't work. God is not working. Because why you go to church is to, it's like uh, you are going to church, like uh, I want to use the word and it's a vocabulary and it escaped my mind. It's, it's like a bargain. Or it is like much like uh, a deal. Now God, if I come to church, maybe if I go to church and go to church and bribe God enough, He's going to release that for me. And when you go and it's like He's not releasing it for you, you say. Maybe that's not really the way. The reason why we come to church together to pray is not only to get things from God. It's to strengthen our faith more in God. That's why the Bible says men ought to always pray and know what? Faith. Many today don't value prayers. And many don't know why it is necessary to pray. Someone said, pray 
as if you will never walk. And walk as if you will never pray. Both go together. I put my effort into what I do, believing that God can make it possible, make things work out to the glory of his name, that I get to do or get blessings from it. And I also spend time praying as if I can do nothing. Of course, I can do nothing without him. Are you getting what I'm saying this evening? I don't know why they echo this evening. What's going on? Or is it because we are not that much? I, the echo seems to be. Is, did you put up the filter or whatever? Or put, not everything is okay. No problem if you are hearing me clearly. Prayer for a Christian is a necessity. And it's not negotiable. Like I said, I don't pray because of what I need from God. I'm praying because I'm commanded to pray. I don't know if you are getting the difference. If I get it, what should I still do? Are you here with me? What should I still do? If I don't get it, what should I still do? So when I get it, I still what? When I don't get it, I still what? For Christians, the Bible says, pray without ceasing. So prayer is not, prayer is about getting it. That means anytime I get what I want, I, I go out of the house and say, forget about it. Oluwa, uh, bye bye. O to the Gambani loan come in. So when I need is when I say, come to the house of God or spend time to pray on a daily basis. And you know, sometimes even the so called rich that she mentioned uh, go to the house of God to seek God, to ask God for help, is when many of them are already helped that they say, Oluwa, ibite ba mi dey na to. You will get tired of prayer if you are getting to do it basically because of I want to bribe God. I want to just get that. I just want to have that. You will get tired one day. But you will keep praying if you are doing it because of what he says. I want to speak on this subject this evening. Why pray? Why pray? Is there any reason to pray? Do we have any cause to pray? Like the lady mentioned in the in the video, is, it, is prayer just a waste of time? Can I achieve my goals without prayer? You know you can. Do you know you can achieve things without God? Are you getting me? That's why we talk about rituals. If you don't serve the real God, you will serve the lesser God. Are you getting what I'm saying this evening? You can try to achieve things with, without God. But it will give you more trouble to get them. But for Christians, God is saying, without me, you can do what? So the difference between that lady and the Christian and, and, and somebody like you and I is what we believe about the Bible. What I'm saying is this. Who you are in Christ. Why pray? In the passage that we read not quite long, the Bible tells us how to pray and what prayer is. In that Matthew chapter 5, chapter 6, verse 9, in that verse 9, the Bible says, After this manner, therefore pray ye. 
our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Don't worry. Nitori ba yini ki e yima agbadura baba wati beli oru ki abo oforu kore ki ijoba rede. You know what prayer is? Oma ti adura de. And why we pray? Ati dita chek badura. We pray to recognize God as who he is. Agbadura la tiri oloru geke di eni toje. Prayer is recognizing God as who he is. Adura oni pe mi mo oloru geke di eni toje. When we pray, we are recognizing God as who he is. Yo ma agbadura o mo oloru bi eni toje. We are acknowledging his presence and who he is to us. Who is he to us? The Bible calls him our father. He is our father in heaven. Where he is recognizing God as who he is. And I say, who is God? Who is he to you? Amen. Our what? Baba wa. Our father. Baba wa. Maybe that young lady doesn't have a father in heaven like I do. That's if she does, she will know that she will don't only communicate with your father, even earthly father, because of what you want to get. You communicate with your earthly father because of the relationship you are. Prayer is, 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 is just simple as this. Look at, it. Look at this. It's like um, when my children wake up in the morning, each one that come, comes out of the house, come around and greet me. It's more of a, a, of a culture. From my daddy to uh, me. And uh, me to my children. I know where they raise their children, I pray they will do the same. Amen. When they come out, what good does it? They must prostrate. With Good greet, morning, sir. With prostration, prostrating. I, I drop a leg. And uh, the girl we greet by kneeling. I won't be in what's he can let. And then we, we, we gather to pray. I see what I could have just for that. But just imagine. She got a kiss. There was a even a day that one came out of the room. Oh, don't come out. Then you can't get the Latin. And sat down. Okay, doko. For prayer while I was waiting. And I looked at him and I said, wow. You didn't greet me this morning. Ha! Oh, I thought I'd talk to Daddy, you. Daddy, good morning, sir. But imagine if any one of them comes out. And sit down. Finish praying. Go to the kitchen, cook, take the food. Dress up. Go out. I'm not saying he's asking me anything. He doesn't. He chooses not to even ask me for money for anything. He or she just decide and say, Mr. Chobalaje. Kala won baba me. Asumi is my father. I wake up in the morning. And I approach him. Uh, we pray. We did not say anything. We just look at each other's face. And I dressed and I went out. And I came back and looked at him. I said, No, even Ekule. Drop my bag. I know as a father, how would you feel, sir? <laughs> <laughs> you, will, you will start to boil. Young guy, you may not understand. Mr. Ojo, am I right? You start to boil. That's when we start to use Yoruba words. Such as Yoruba. Who is behind your action? I thank you very much. Thanks for running. That's why they behind your action, what you are doing. My father will ask me and say, Oh, look at me, let you My father is some father will ask him, Do you have anybody 
Do you have anyone else? You know why we pray? Because we don't have anyone elsewhere than our Heavenly Father. We do not have any other person. Our going to our Father is not about, it's, it's just similar. Like, King Mayowa, Abi Kinsi, Abi Tommy, what can we pray? Daddy, eh, for me, King Yiloni. So to our Father in heaven, it, it's not like, just like one of our, our, ch our children coming to us and said, well, because you, you did not uh, give me anything me. yesterday, I'm not greeting you today. So, King Bobos, King Kila Wafuna. What's the purpose of you? More of you, Inta Wafuni, begging, come out, bank, all over you. So, I have food coming, and the pecking marking you. I thought you were only alive for me to, to, for you, for me to receive from you. Emi, Emi, Gentu. I am Gentu. He is Gentu. We allow him going before slap him. Because if I did that in his face, he will know that that is coming. None of us want children that will say, I've said this before, I love you because of what I'm getting from you. We don't want such a child. We want a child that will love us at all times, no matter what we are going through. And that's why you know how you know a responsible child. Look for, look for a child that your parent comes to school to check on you. And you imagine. Somebody is here to see you. Gate man, daddy. He said it's your father. No, that's not my dad. It's my dad, gate man. Gate man, daddy. One here. He is not my father. It's our gate man. Oh, driver, daddy. One. It's my father's driver. She won't be a SUV. No one be what be. I know. One, 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 not a responsible one. So when you are a child to God, I pray to God be not because of what I'm getting, but because of who he is to me. He is my heavenly father. Amen. And he start with saying, our father, which art in heaven. Just like my father on earth will not be happy if I walk by by him on a daily basis and don't want to talk to him or I'm 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 keeping yodi. Keeping malice. I'm keeping malice, thank you. I'm keeping malice with him because he did not pay my school fee at the right time or because I asked him for stipends and he didn't go in and I said I'm not going to talk to him again. Just like my heavenly father won't take it and just like my heavenly father won't take it, do you think my heavenly father should take such? We pray to God because he is our heavenly father. Recognize him as who he is. Who is he to us? He is our father in heaven. And for you, I don't know what you feel, but I am glad I have a father in heaven. He cares so much for me. I am glad that the maker of heaven and earth is my father. You know one Amen. thing? You know one thing? If you are an orphan here, or a widow, let me show you something. Look at what the Bible says in Exodus chapter 22. Verse 22 to 24. He says something that makes me to feel like, ha, ah, even it seems as if Heavenly Father does more than my earthly father. Which is true, he does. Look at what he said. He said, ye shall not afflict any, or what? Fatherless child. If thou afflict them in any wise, and they cry at all unto me, I will surely hear them, and my wrath shall wax out, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wife shall be widows, and your children Fatherless. You know what God is saying? This? God is saying, I am a good father. Amen. 
And the heavenly father, I'm, I'm even better than your earthly father. That's right. Amen. If anybody tries to hurt us, if we cry to our earthly father, Toba Jesu Jani, Toba Toba Jesu, that is that man. Toba Jesu Jesu Jani, be born, 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 Somebody Only in Talisha, I'll be back on the Baba. Yeah, there is limit to what we can do as an earthly father. But when it comes to every father, he knows how to make sure that he takes or gets vengeance for us because oh, he says, Vengeance is mine. God is saying, I'm greatest dad. And I can take care of you. I remember attending a function of a king. And uh, everybody comes around for straight to the king. Nobody dare touch his, even the Rukere. One thing happened that I observed that the day. children of the king were around also. And, and it's time for them to approach that podium with Kabiesi. They just come around. Daddy, Daddy. Daddy. I mean, oh, oh, Instead of approaching their father. That's a relationship. We looked at him from afar with reverence and said, the children, children walk and say, Daddy. Daddy. And you are telling me I have a God that owns everything. And I now say, I'm ignoring you. No, you shouldn't. I pray because he's my heavenly father. Not only do I pray because he's my heavenly father, I pray also because he is flawless to be allowed. He is our father in heaven. He is flawless to be allowed. It's not only that it's heavenly father, but it's a holy father. In that verse 9, the Bible says, And after this manner, therefore ye pray ye, our father which art in heaven. What goes next? Allow be thy name. In that verse 13, the Bible says, For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. He said, Listen, that's about the father is my father. There's a way you greet your father. There's a way you approach your father. If you give your father a, some respect, like I've said, you will never ignore him. You will want to say, hello, daddy, no matter what you have done, you are always my daddy. I will always come to you. He should be allowed. He should be referenced. If you say, I'm only going to God because of what I'm getting from God. Then you are not respecting him for who he is. Really is. Ah, it's my father is true. But no matter what, there is limit to what I can do to my father. So I can Should I should I slap my father? Daddy. Yeah, that, 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 that so Matu Vito Watawa. In respect, I want to still say daddy. I honor you. So because I honor him, I allow him being holy who he is, makes it that. I should go to him in prayer. I should talk to him. I cannot say, because I'm your son as a king, and say, I'm your son as a king. I, I, I can do whatever I like. Uh, <laughs> 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 <
what is Sotairi? I have said this. Film uh, 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 only. Uh, what is the film? I want to draw the cabies. I have been. People were waiting for the king. Waiting for the king. Where is the king? The king did not come out. And the queen entered and discovered that the king was in the bedroom. On getting there, she said, King, the king, people have been waiting for you so long. And the king said, I am the king. One man do do and they used to wait for the king. Obe, do the king doesn't wait for anyone. Do they have to wait. Okay, he was, he was coming as he was coming. God just God just was. This this thing, this thing is the king. So and the king heard that and he could not say anything. to wear to dress it alone. He, after betting, he came back, he came out and ordered his, he ordered the execution of his in-law. And immediately the, the queen heard that. She, she shouted, Kabiesi, why this? Why should they do this? And his, he replied, you said I am not dead. And I want to show it to you that so, even that I said I am not in the house. So because I am your husband, you should disrespect me. So no matter how many of us uh, this uh, we uh, do. And that is almost the, the same the, way the, the man of stairs. I want to talk to that man of stairs. Shame. Approaching the savior, the savior like that, approaching the king, the God of gods, as if you are and I want to to what them are going to do. Even there are some songs that they, they, they have to be ailing, they, they have to be to using plans for Jesus. It's a shame. Because it's your father doesn't mean you should disrespect him. And because he doesn't want you to disrespect him, that's why he said, when you come to me, you still come with reference. Allow be thy name. Why pray? We pray to recognize God as who He is. He's our Heavenly Father. He is our Father in heaven. He is flawless to be allowed. Second reason why pray. Prayer is relinquishing glory to whom it is due. I said, prayer is recognizing God as who He is. And prayer is also relinquishing glory to whom it is due. You know, like the story I said about that young lady that is thinking, it's action that brings you blessing. It's nothing but your action. But when it comes to you, you are saying it's not my action. It is God that is making it possible. Go to the Israelites that when they become even rich, they get to have what they have need in their land. They should not forget that it is, don't think it's by your might. Oh. Don't forget, it is God that gave you power to do what you have done. You know, as a child of God, whatever it is that we get, you know what we do? He says, God that made it possible. That is relinquishing. Live in and say, whatever it is that I'm supposed to say, I am a Mimo Wambe. 
Prayer is relinquishing glory to whom it is due. And the Bible makes us to understand in that verse 10. He said, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. So prayer is clearly say. It is his way that should be done on earth and in heaven. That means I'm saying to God that whatever you want done in my life should be that way. It's how you want it done that it should be. I'm relinquishing my way to your way. It's your kingdom that must be done, that must be here. Like saying, God, you know better, have your way. Not only is, not only is it, it's it about saying, God should have his way, it's also about saying, God should have his will. It is his will that should be done on earth and in heaven. In that verse 10 also, he said, thy kingdom come, Abi. I want your way. Thy will be done. I'm, I'm not only asking for his way. I mean also relinquishing my will. As a child of God, I'm getting to a stage whereby I'm saying, Lord, Lord, I'm trying my best. I wish I get that. But not as I will. But thy will be done. Is that not what Jesus taught us? So if I say, eh, prayer, or involved in prayer that is more than what I'm getting. My action can tell me I'm the one. But the Bible is teaching me. It's about you say is the one. No matter what you can do, what you have done or you are doing. Prayer is not only about relinquishing power. Relinquishing glory to whom it is due. Prayer is also relying on God for what we need. In that verse 12, the Bible says, and forgive us, I mean, give us this day our verse 11, Abi. Verse 11, give us this day our, you know, you know what some of us thought prayer is all about, is about, give us this day our daily, that's why, so she just went, we want to talk to God. We are God. I'm hungry today. I would like get my daily bread today. I want to like come over. Bawa, Kajilaro. Hello, mommy. Kilamaje. How many of us we appreciate our children coming to us early in the morning and say, Oh, daddy, mommy, what are we going to eat? The first thing ever. Kilamaje. T. Johnson, but she will see Walla. We will not bother about it. But Moriah got more bad bread. Don't share your money. Oh, if Moriah did this, that. Miss Olan Rewaju. Ah. Mrs. Olan Rewaju. That. Mama Olan Rewaju. Just now, imagine for Rosalie to do that. Kill Rosalie. Go and watch it now. Mommy, what are we going to eat? Mommy, kill I je. Es badura ulu wa share no for me. Jesus, share no for me. She allow ni je ko wa ye bo mommy. Because you know that it's not normal. He, she has grown to that level to say, Good morning, I can't run my sister. Tell us, okay, mommy, I can't run my mommy. I can't run my mommy. Mommy, I can't run my mommy. A below Jimmy Lara. A below Badi. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, is that not the consequence? So God is giving us the sequence. Even asking for what you need is a byproduct of prayer. No, you are my father is the most important thing. You are supposed to be referenced to be allowed is the most important thing. Now I have the third one. I said, God, please, can I get something? And some of, some of you say, uh, kill a tumbere, ton je wa ni nu le, why is it why wa wa? Why asking? Why are we asking? Eh, ti ren to ring rice at wa ti o le je. Some may even have that rice and beans and may not be able to eat it. I remember when I was growing up. Ah! Oman drew me gun. It used to. 
Oh, she do me up to now. And it's still paying me to now. Sorry, he got a bad stick, he got my soft drink. <laughs> we used to drink soft drink when we were sick. He got one rap Fanta, kill off him. Then they will buy you Fanta. They will even ask you, what do you want to drink? I'm a cook, you Fanta, and you. Uh, uh, Daddy, do do. I want to learn it. I want Fanta. Fanta. And uh, Fanta. One wag be Fanta, yeah, day. And by the time they bring that Fanta. I brought me one more graduate, I call him a gentleman. And my younger brother will be praying, ah. Uh, God, he should not be able to drink because it. Because he knows that immediately I cannot drink it. He will love me. Oh my fellow girls, I will be about to lemu. They will ask him to drink it. And sincerely, he used to I pray the same know. way for his brother. But you will have the Fanta that you wish to take. She the the Fanta, food, the, the, the best of the best. The best. Fanta, Fanta, you, how will you eat? Error, uh, error. I want to eat. Oh, you are not eating. I'm allowed. Go and buy me. Mm, yeah, ah. You will not even be able to eat it. Give me this day my daily bread. That is when you understand the meaning of God give, give me my daily bread. Then you will even enjoy Gary. Then you are sick. When you sick. The best of the best of the food. And they bring the best food. You won't be able to eat it. You will ignore it. Then you know if that it's God that is giving you the meal each day. If it's allowing you to eat the food daily. Hey, say it's made by your power. I bought the food by myself. Don't worry. I prepared the food by myself. It's just over the hospital to want food for pure water. Don't worry. Over you pure water, you realize. Over you pure water, you realize it is God. Who made it to happen? Uh, anyway, ben, can, eh, you pass the line. It. Uh, if Happy, you uh, follow me, I'm up. Oh, uh, God, so please, if you can allow me to have it today. Uh, they will eat. They, they will be hey, praying. Give him the appetite to be able to eat. Then you know it's God that gives you day by day. If then you, know, will you, know, you, know, you will understand, know, you know, understand know, the importance of going to him in prayer every day. Prayer is relying on God for what we need. We need food daily. Apart from I have the food or I don't have the food, it's my job to say, God give. What is up on Jesse? Let's go back when Kakato shall enter new Jekali John. I the phone daily. I let that one go. When your church member calls, that we want to. I mean, honey, I'm hungry. About me. And even family. I mean, ah, get it, baby. I mean, I'm here. Hey, the salon. Ah, oh, oh, we are going to come on one new. You know why? Sometimes you don't get to eat it. Not for no fogba. Ah, yeah, what to know? And that is for but us. But just imagine those that they cook. When the former governor come out, when he want to serve on the story table, how can he pay for the bathroom? Who was served with food? When he bed, what joke was he? He entered the bedroom and he died there. I mean, it's over. What joke was he? No, sincerely, that you have the opportunity to eat. We allow for the last day. Amen. Ugo. We rely on him for our daily bread. We must rely on him for debt bearing. In verse 12, he said, and forgive us our debt as we forgive those. Forgive our what? Sorry, I'm far behind today. Our time is fast. I'll be shaking stop back. Let me finish the last one. Sorry, please. <laughs> the time is fast, man. I suppose we have stopped for prayer. Number four. Hello, Kenny. Prayer is resting on God's wisdom to navigate life. Adura, only big person similarly on God alone. Nothing in your dry yet. If you don't pray, so bad, Adura. Because you reference God. Tori pe o bo la fala lu. Sabi tori po je baba. Because He allows you to hear. Sabi tori po bo la ye lati jeun. You will pray. Oh, God, do that. 
because he's the one that can guide your steps. We rest on the one that can direct our path. Prayer is resting on God's wisdom to navigate the future. The Bible makes us to understand that there's none of us that can direct our ways, our paths. It's not in our way to and in that verse 13, the Bible says, let read it with me. Turn your Bible there. Matthew chapter 6, verse 13. The Bible says, and lead us not. Are you there? Read with me. And lead us not into what? But deliver us from what? Amen. Listen. Assuming it is by my action. Can make me to make it in life. Can my action guide me? No, I'm I'm telling you, I'm a and Tony bodyguard, Tony Bogwe. Even those with bodyguard, those with security that die. There was a sad story in Ibadan. He's a popular um, instrumentalist. Only lot of things. All low and everything. Well known by all musicians, almost in Nigeria, but at least in the southwest. And they said he was in his in fact, he never allowed anybody to enter this place or stuff like that. He slipped with his equipment. So that nobody will touch that place. He sleeps alone in his in his place of work. We are us. Thank you. And they said, he just died at the door, trying to open the door, probably to call someone that something is wrong. He had money, probably security, probably whatever it is that he has. Then he found out that it's not by power, not by money, not by anything. It's by him. As Christians, we pray because we need to rest on one that can direct our paths. We pray because we need to rest on the one that can deliver us from him. In that verse 13, the Bible says, but deliver us from Evil. You know how many evil that has happened in our environment. Many places you've been to that nothing has happened to you. Many that has happened are you that telling you evil, me? You, you marveled. How did it happen? So when I'm going out each day and I'm committing my ways to the Lord, and somebody comes and says, Hey, forget about it. It's not God that gives you anything. You are the one that will do it by your power. I don't know person. Even if I make money by my power, I cannot protect myself by my power. Amen. I can't stay alive by my power. Why pray? I've given you a lot of reasons tonight. Prayer is recognizing God as who he is. Prayer is relinquishing glory to whom it is due. Prayer is relying on God for what we need. And prayer is resting on God's wisdom to navigate life. Do you have reasons to pray now? Do you have reasons to pray? I pray that the Lord will help us and guide us. That we never stop praying because of what we are yet to get from God. But we continue to pray because of who God is to us and who he is to, who is he to us. 